In this video where I'm talking about the differences between Flames of War and Team Yankee, I'm going to go over morale. And basically morale is covered on page 64 and 65. So here they are. So these are the only two pages for morale. And there is a difference between unit morale and formation morale. Unit morale is the individual, like I've got three tanks in this unit and I got some men running around. I got some hinds. Each one of these is a unit. If I put them all my all my units together, that's my formation. So that's the difference between those two. So we're going to talk about unit morale first, which is what happens to these men if they start getting destroyed, removed, or these tanks get destroyed or bailed out. What happens to this unit? One of the things you want to look at is what's called in good spirits. If you're in good spirits, you don't have to take a morale check. And so you want to read this part. Uh, it does say that if a team is bailed out or destroyed, it's not in good spirits. Also, if your numbers drop, if you only, if it still has um, at least two vehicles, I'm going to say tanks and aircraft, or at least three infantry teams, you're, you're in good spirits. So if you drop below those numbers or if you get bailed out or destroyed, you're not in good spirits. And very important here is this paragraph that you only count those within six inches of the leader. They count towards that, are you in good spirits? So if they're out, they're probably going to count against you. And do not count teams that have joined a unit as far as how many you have here. Oh, and count the leader of the unit, but do count the leader. Okay, unit morale, you take this at the end of shooting and assault step, and this is what's interesting is when it had a team destroyed or bailed out. So if you're just bailed out, you're gonna have to take a morale check, it looks like. And it's the usual morale check, uh, and as in Flames of War. Now if the commander has, the commander of your army, he never has to test his, test his morale. He's always going to stay on the table. It used to be, or it was in Flames of War, you get to reroll motivation tests and morale checks for commanders. Uh, in Team Yankee, you don't have to worry about it. But if he joins a unit that needs to take a morale check, you use his the leader, the, the commander's leadership, but if they fail, he's also removed. Which same as it was in uh, Flames of War. But you use his instead of the unit's normal morale check. Another interesting thing is this uh, par couple paragraphs here about attachments. Um, if it's transports, and the infantry are gone, the transports are gone. But they're not destroyed, but they're removed. However, if you attach like an infantry team to a tank team, and the tank team gets destroyed, the infantry team still stays on the table. They get their own morale checks. Attachments have their own morale check versus the unit they're attached to. So keep that in mind, you read that part about attachments. Now I'm going to move over to formation, and this has to do with your whole army. And if you still have one unit on the table, you're okay, but be very careful. As far as what they're counting, they're not counting support. You can't count support as far as if you have one unit on the table. So you have to go to this, like this T... 101, which I'm going to hope I have here. There we go. So this counts. All of this counts. Oops, let me bring it back down. This counts and all of this counts as far as do you have at least one of these on the table. But if all you have left is your support, you've lost the game. So that is a big difference that happened in the game. And so that's pretty much it for morale. It's just these two pages. So really quick and simple. 
Uh, again, just be careful about don't count support for that would be like company morale check. Now it's called formation. And also if your tank unit or something like that gets bailed out, just gets bailed out or destroyed, they're taking a test. So that is that.